physical and chemical changes. Rusting of iron. You know that rusting of iron is a chemical change. This is also a slow change and a change that is quite undesirable. Why is it undesirable? Because the rust destroys the iron. It goes on reducing the iron and so the bridge or ship or car or truck that is made out of that iron becomes weaker and weaker. Rust is formed when iron reacts with oxygen and moisture from the air. The material formed is iron oxide. The reaction of rusting can be written like this. Fe plus O2 plus H2O is equal to Fe2O3 which is iron oxide. The presence of water vapor and oxygen both are essential for rusting. So it happens more when the air is humid. How can we stop particles from rusting? We either stop the iron from coming in contact with air or water or both. If you paint the iron surface, then it stops contact with air. You can even put a coating of another metal on the iron. People put a layer of chromium on the iron. The most commonly applied coating on iron is of zinc. When you coat iron with zinc, it is called galvanization. Galvanized pipes don't rust. Ships are made of iron and ships have to be in water. So, how can you stop them from rusting? You can paint them, but still, they are always in water. And that water has many salts too that speed up the rusting process. So the iron can't really be saved. Some of it does go waste every year. Have you heard of stainless steel? Most of the steel that we use at home is stainless steel. It is steel that does not rust. It is made mainly of iron, but metals like carbon, chromium, nickel and manganese are mixed with the steel. That works really well in the industry. Crystallization When seawater is evaporated and salt is left behind, the salt is not powdery and fine. You see it in small lumps. These are actually small crystals. You can make large crystals from solutions of substances. Crystallization is a physical change. Let's do an experiment. Take water in a beaker and add a few drops of dilute sulfuric acid to it. Now, heat the water. When it starts boiling, add copper sulfate powder and stir. Be careful while boiling the water. You have to take proper precautions when you deal with chemicals. Okay, now add more copper sulfate powder till no more powder can be dissolved. Filter the solution and allow it to cool. Do not disturb the solution when it's cooling. After some time, you will see the crystals of copper sulphate in the solution.